Hello everyone, my name is Trinity Aronaut and today I would like to show you the third in my series of Photoshop tutorials and this one will show you how to use the, uh, the selection tool, the quick selection tool, the the um, gradient tool, the pen tool, and I believe that it, in the crop tool, and that's about it. So, and then of course I will also show you a very quick way to get some uh, uh, to to get this uh, finished off. So the first thing we want to do here is clean up this image. Now you might think, oh, this image looks pretty clean to me. Well, it might to you, but it doesn't to me. If you look here in the neck, you're going to see some some really um, uh, unusual, difficult, uh, and I know it's where the hair has, has um, gone back there, but again, that doesn't look very natural. It looks very choppy and pointy. And look over here, you can also see, I know that the mesh bodies are, are, are kind of making this um, almost obsolete, but as you can see, we've got a little neck issue going on here. And what I'd like to do is to go ahead and, and fix this. And how am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to do it using the pen tool. The pen tool, if you can't use the pen tool, you really, really, really can't master um uh, uh, um, Photoshop. So basically you're going to click that and then you're going to go ahead and click down here and you're going to just create a kind of um, very very gentle uh, uh, natural looking uh, bend in the neck and then you're going to close it. So that's basically a nice little bend in the neck. Oh, and by the way, I'll be teaching you how to use the, um, the, the smudge tool as well. All right, now, so this is a path, and but it's not a selection. And if you were going to, uh, say, smudge that edge up, you would end up going white right past that line and into the hair because, again, that is a path and not a selection. So if you want to create a selection here, you're going to basically hold your control key down and you're going to left click. And then you'll see you have the marching ants and that will give you a beautiful uh, selection that you can use. So then you're going to take the smudge tool next. Now by default, the blur tool is is uh, up but if you left click on that little triangle at the corner you're going to get the smudge tool and when you click on that and go back here to layers and click on the layer which I think we need to unlock you click on that layer And you're going to be able to use that smudge tool. Once I get myself out of sticky keys. Okay. Now, very good. So that's the smudge tool. And as you can see, you're going to keep it really small like this because you're basically going to drag this little edge up here to this edge, and you're going to be able to really get something pretty flawless with this little hold on let's not do that go ahead and step backward okay, very very good now we're going to deselect this you're going to go up to select then you're going to choose deselect or hit control d okay well now see that that looks pretty good but i don't like this little area right here so I'm going to go back into select, or I'm going to actually go back to 
undo deselect and then I'm going to be able to go right up there and see if I can see if I can get that a little bit better. So let me go back to select, deselect. Beautiful. And hold on. Now we've got a little area down here at the bottom. Okay, let's go back, undo. You just got to kind of play around with this. Undo, deselect. And then you just want to kind of bring that up as well. Okay, very nice. Look how much better that looks. All right, now over here on this side, we're going to have just a little bit more of an issue. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see if we can't get something going on here with this pen. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go here. I'm going to click on this and see if we can't get something that looks really, really. Very, very nice. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. So now you're going to go ahead and go back to the path. You're going to hold your control key down and you're going to click right in that little white space until you get the crawling ants you have that so now you have to understand that you will go in here and again with that small brush and you will take this down okay we will take this down all the way that may not be, let's check and see, hold on. So let's go ahead and deselect, and then you may have to do that again. Yeah, there's a good chance you'll have to do that again. All right, that's okay though. Let's go ahead and get up a little closer to the neck. Now I'm gonna kind of, kind of give that a nice, graceful, this block close it down and we are going to do this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this and we're going to go ahead and make it active then I'm going to take my little uh, uh, smudge tool and go right in there and get that finished as much as I can or maybe not that Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm, you know, clearly that it's still, there's still that little gash there. So what I'm going to do is when you want to, to go ahead and smudge outside of the edge, you can inverse it. And then that will basically allow you to fill up the outside as well. So let's go ahead and deselect that look at it and see. Let's go ahead and reselect or let's go ahead and undo because there's a little bit of, of um, color in there that is not right. So let's go ahead and inverse it again. Select, inverse. And then we're going to go ahead and get some of this, some of this color in here. And there we go. So very, 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 very good. All right, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's check and see. All right. 
screen. Let's go back. Select, deselect. Okay. That looks like it's just a little bit not quite right. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Let's go here. Go here. And go ahead. See if you can give us that just a little bit. You will have this right here. Select the select. That's perfect. Then let's go down here and fix this other little area. Good. So let's check it. Okay, that's really beautiful. Then you want to go back in and you want to give a little bit of a blur to that particular area. Take this down by hitting the right bracket. And it's really good. Uh, now, now that we've got that done, uh, I don't think there's really anything else we need to do here. Yes, there is. There is, there is. So let me go over here because the, the, it's important that we get all this done first. So I'm going to go ahead and in this case I'm going to 
use the pen and I'm going to we're going to go out here and make a nice graceful arch as if we had hair as if there were a natural way that the hair was laying go over here I'm going to grab the, the, the white in this area because that white will get caught in the blend tool if we don't grab all of it and just keep dragging white areas into the hair. All right, so very, very good. So that looks really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this over here. That is a good looking, that is a great looking side to that hair. Um, much better than, uh, so deselect that, much better than what we had. Very nice, very, very nice. So those are the only things that were wrong with this picture, uh, at least that, 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 I, that, I, that I'm noticing. Now, what I want to do is, the next thing I want to do is, uh, it's a great picture. It's a beautiful picture. Um, it needs some cropping and it needs some, you know, it needs a few extra things. But mostly what it needs is a really interesting background. And unfortunately, this picture was taken on this particular color screen. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a copy of this layer. So I'm going to do layer. I'm going to do duplicate layer. And that'll be two. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have layer zero and then the copy of this layer. So I'm going to take now that the, everything is okay and the the um, the image is all the little issues that I had are are straightened. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, make this invisible and then I'm gonna work on this top layer. The next thing I'm going to do is do a quick selection. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So we're going to select this whole head. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm going to select this whole head. Just go right out here to where I want to get all these little hairs. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Okay, beautiful. Now, the easiest way to get rid of that background, in my opinion, is with this new version, is to go ahead and use the magic erase tool and just pop that puppy right out. Oh, oh never mind, hold on. Um, edit, step backward. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to inverse this because I want to get rid of the outside, not the inside. Select inverse and go ahead. Take it all away. Yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? But, so when we go to and put that back in, we can see that that, that background is still there, and, but there is a, a place that we can sandwich interesting, an interesting, more interesting background in it. But first, we need to get rid of all of this red. See this? Now the whole reason I selected this thing to begin with 
is because if we choose to get rid of this by color, so let me just choose deselect here, and now if you want to get rid of this by color, then you can simply um, go up here and choose select color range and you can go ahead and click right in here but if you notice this erases all of this this stuff around the edge that's great but you can also see that it takes up part of the face so choose okay here just just for kicks and giggles and then when you go and hit your delete button it isn't only going to delete the hairs it is going to delete what's on the face as well so go ahead and undo that just undo that and and we will we will deselect everything okay so now oh, this is what I want you to do I want you to go to back up here and I want you to choose your polygonal lasso and then you can just click here in the hair and the shoulder and now that's selected. That's very good. So you're going to want to enlarge that. You're wanna, going to want to click. You're going to want to choose Select Color Range. You're going to choose Sampled Color. You're going to go ahead and click in that. And then you see all you're going to remove is just that color. So when you choose OK and you go ahead and hit your Delete button, there you go and you don't lose any of the face because that that is very very close to the facial color so let's go ahead and do this side now we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose our polygon select tool we're going to click here here let's go down here for a little bit come on here here Go ahead and just choose all that up. Very nice. Now we go up to layer, uh, select color range. You're going to go ahead and use the eyedropper and you're going to get all of that. Excellent. So choose OK. You're going to go ahead and delete and check it out. Beautiful. So let's go back, hit this, and as you, oh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and get this up here at the top too. Let's, and go here, and close it off, and go ahead, go back to select color range. Choose all of that, choose OK, and again, you can delete all of this stuff. Beautiful, huh? All right. Go ahead, hit the screen, and that's it. Very, very, very nice. We select, and we now have a very beautiful, very um, uh, clean cut. And that makes it possible to go ahead and put this back screen on and do whatever we like to this back screen. For example, here we're going to we're going to just play around with um, with some gradients. So let's go ahead and choose some gradients. And I think I'm going to choose maybe a little bit of a darker brown. And we'll try that. And when you go to put that on, as you can see, that that layer will be between the background and the foreground. And let's just go ahead and throw in some of these. Check it out. But you know what? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and uh, change it here now. We're going to put maybe a black in there the bottom.
maybe um, maybe green in here on the top. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go lighter. Let's try that. Like that. Oops, it's all right. If you notice, you ever get that um, out, that just put it back into the dots. So we'll go here. And we're going to put some green in. Maybe on this side. Ah, oh, beautiful. Basically, you're just going to play with this and see what you can get. And basically, you see that we did all of this arranging without disturbing our model. But if you look, here is the original model, and you can see that having that on top means that the background can be done. And this would be this would be if you wanted to take an image, you really wanted to, but you wanted to spice up the background and you hadn't taken it separately. So this is how you can do it. All right, so that's the second thing I want to show you. And then maybe we could do something over top of that. Foreground transparent. There we go. That's just okay. Let's just do that. And let's go ahead and switch that over. So that'll give us a little bit of that. And looks like we can pull in a little bit here um, and then do some more brown over top of it. Just to kind of give you that little bit of a feel. Or so that as if as if that Part of it, you can go ahead and pull a little bit of that darker color in there, and then we'll go down to black, and just just enough to make it appear as if she is within the dark. This is kind of an artsy thing. This is really a lot of this has to do with has to do with um, just deciding how you want it. Okay. Well, actually, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is merge all of these. But if we are not very careful, we're going to end up being able, to, not being able to, um, if we if we do something in the future and we. Uh, we may need to go back to the original. We're not going to be able to do it. So basically, we're going to duplicate these level, these layers, and then we're going to merge the visible ones, or merge the merge the the selected layers. So there we have it. Okay, that is really gorgeous. And as you can see, all these little hairs in here are now part because are now part of it and you can see where the um, where the uh, uh, the green and the browns go and that's 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 a great thing so the next thing I'm going to do is we need to give this a little bit of depth so I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a a um, a new layer on top of this I'm going to make it a soft light and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of black, and I'm going to drop the opacity down to, I don't know, 15 maybe, and I'm going to use a big brush, and then I'll just, oh, oh, I'll 
that brush. I'm going to use this brush. And I'm just going to left click my bracket until it feels right. Oh, oh, nope. Put that back. And again, I don't know why my opacity is back to 100%, but it was down to 15, and now it'll be down to 14. Okay, so you just want to kind of go in here a little bit, you know, just kind of give it a little bit of, um, and then maybe even on the other side as well. Maybe not quite as much, but maybe just a wee little bit. Okay, let's try that. That gives it a little bit of, um, just a little bit of shadow. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do a second uh, layer. Let's make it also soft light. And then let's give it a little bit of light where we want it. So we're going to flip this to the white. I'm going to keep that at 14%. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. So I'm going to hit my right brackets. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. So I'll left bracket that. Okay. So this is where you're going to pull out some of those highlights. Here, we're just going to really, really, really bring out the light. And over here, we're going to bring out some light here. And just kind of make this more... Uh, Stand out a little bit more. Okay, that was just a little bit big, so let's just tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go back over here. We're going to grab this eraser. You're going to use the eraser tool and not the tool. And then we're just going to get rid of that little bit of white. Okay, beautiful. Let's see if we can get a little bit of, rid of, a little bit of that white. Okay, check it out. Now, okay, we've got all that done. We could go ahead and, and copy all three of those layers and, um, and make them and do them again, but you know what? We're just going to click on all three of these since we're really close to being done. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to merge just the highlighted layers. There we go. Excellent. So, it has what looks to be a really nice background. It's, uh, there's enough of the background in it uh, to uh, make it appear as if it was on this background. But we're going to do a couple of more things to possibly get this to where we want it. So, we're going to do a four. So, let me see. This is, since this would be, um, since Something like this would make a nice profile picture. We're going to do a four by three. Excellent. So now the one thing about this is that you really should not, you really should not um, put some some uh, an image directly in the middle of a screen. And so what you really want to do is to have this, for example, over to one side. And um, that looks really good. Just a little bit of this. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and crop that again. Excellent. All right. Now, this looks so much better than it did. But I can say, in all honesty, that it will look better. Let's try, let's go ahead and try Auto Tone a little bit better and then again maybe not let's I mean play around with these 
let's do contrast, and then let's do auto color, and we'll see if we like that. Don't care for that at all. So let's go back, let's step backward, and let's go ahead and go back three times, and in this case, we'll just do auto correct, I mean, auto contrast. So let's try that. There you go. That looks even better. But you know something? I kind of liked, I, 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 there were certain elements of the other P, uh, of doing it with all three of them that I kind of liked, but I didn't really want to lose this rich color. So let's go ahead and do, and make a copy of that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the auto tone, the auto contrast, the auto color. And then we will lose, drop the opacity on this until we get just what we like. Okay. Now we'll check that by removing this and then checking and checking, removing it and then, okay, I really think that's really good. So we're going to, again, we could, if you want to be safe, you could duplicate that and then merge them. But in my case, it's, we're in a hurry and I really do like this. I'm going to go ahead and merge those two. Now, that's one way to handle this. Another way to handle this would be to go up to image adjustments, and here you can do color balance. You can choose to color balance this. You could make it warmer if you like. You could make it that's almost cool. Okay. Look at that, that's beautiful. And since I'm throwing the whole ball of wax at you, you've got, and I will cover all of these filters later, but let's just say, you know, this is a great photo, you love the background, or you might have a very plain background in blacks, you really don't want to do something like this, there is a quick and easy way to perk up a, pale, a, a plain image, and that is to choose a lens flare from your, from your, your filters, and there you go. That is quite a striking image. That's the original, and here is the finished. Beautiful. Even an image like this that looks really good can look like can can look fabulous. And of course, if you want to remove the um, if you don't want if you don't like the the uh, lens flare, uh, you can remove it. You can also if you want to you can also um, choose other lens flares if, if you don't if you don't want this one. But this one is the, this particular lens flare is a is almost like a signature of mine. So. There you go. All right. Uh, this is Trinity Aeronaut. This is tutorial three uh, of um, my tutorials on Photoshop. And uh, as I said, I will give you this original uh, piece. And um, I'll save this as the original just so that I. Give it to you for you to work along with me. Okay. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.